Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Mike Chimeno, who is KI5SOK. He has a, a fairly straightforward question, but it does bring up a couple of points that I think we can talk about for a couple of minutes. Uh, he says, watch your channel all the time. I learn a lot from you. I live in southwest Louisiana, a great place to be wet. Uh, typical neighborhood. I have large dogs and other critters, so leaving the coax on the ground isn't an option for me. Um, I'm planning on burying PVC pipes or conduit and run my coax in it. Do you foresee any issues? Uh, the short answer is no, I don't. Let's take a look at a piece of coax here. Uh, this is um, LMR 400. And as you can see, there is a center conductor, which is aluminum coated with copper, right there, okay. And then there is the dielectric, which is the white stuff. And then there is aluminum foil, which is actually taped, or with an adhesive connected to that center. And then there is a braid around the outside, tinned braid. And the problem with this uh, coax cover is that lots of critters like to chew on it uh, and it might make a good chew toy for your dogs. So when you place that, the way I've got mine placed, I've got my house here with my shack here and the cables go through the lightning arresters and then run along the ground and then go up to whatever antenna they're on. Now that's okay for here, we don't have uh, wandering dogs and so far the animals and critters haven't chewed on the cable. And with time the grass grows up around the cable anyway. Okay. Now in your case, what you're talking about doing is taking this part right here and putting it in conduit. And there's nothing wrong with that. That'll work fine. This sheath, as long as it is not compromised, is waterproof, okay? Some cables are marked for direct burial. You can bury them without the sheath around them. The problem that you run into is certain animals which might be common to your area, like voles or uh, gophers and so on, will love to chew on these when they're underground. So putting it in a shield like this is a good idea. Now here's a problem that you're going to run into in Louisiana, and that's water. You put something underground like that and it will fill with water. So your cable is going to be sitting in water all the time. Normally, that's not a problem, again, if the cable is not compromised. If you put a connector under here like that, then it most decidedly, uh, you'll get water penetration. Now, the problem with water penetration is this braid right here. The braid acts as a wick for water, and it will pull water all the way through the cable. Now that does not necessarily mean the end of the usefulness of that cable because it's got the dielectric, it's got this aluminum shield um, if you're using LMR 400. If you're using RG 213, you don't have the aluminum shield, you just have the braid. But that water will eventually cause corrosion in uh, the copper. This is again, tinned copper. Um, and you'll find that the cable will decay. So rule number one, no connections. One, no connections. Okay, two, waterproof, meaning it is got its integrity, meaning there's no nicks, scratches, whatever, that will allow the water into the inner part. Now here is an idea for you. When you put the cable down, on the bottom, every foot or so, drill a hole, like a quarter inch hole. Now I realize you're gonna have to stick it in a vise or drill bit 
to do this to get it to actually go in but the idea being that when it gets full of water which it will in a storm or something like that at least it has a chance to drain out okay that will be kinder to the coax so yes you can bury coax like this if you don't want to leave it out on the ground and most people do not want to leave it out on the ground <clears throat> so this is one way that you can protect your cables whether going to a dipole or whatever is to make sure that it's not in a place where critters can chew on it and in in western southwestern Louisiana you're in very low-lying territory it's wet the water table is inches below the surface and you're going to have to deal with water so make sure that your cable I mean run over every bit of it with your hands like this to see if you feel a spot and just don't use it if it's like that because even if you put a patch on it eventually water will leak through the patch unless you can come up with something that's absolutely waterproof and uh, then put holes in the bottom of that pipe it's going to get water in it, especially in Louisiana. Now, if you're living in the desert like me, you can just throw your cables out on the ground, but I wouldn't recommend that there in Louisiana. So there you have it. Uh, this was uh, a question from Mike Chimeno, and he's KI5SOK. Uh, there you have it. Uh, for those of you who enjoy this channel and enjoy watching it, I would encourage you to subscribe. Just click subscribe. It is your vote of confidence to YouTube that this is a channel worth keeping, watching, and supporting. And you can also click on the bell if you would like notifications using your favorite notification method. If you'd like to help support this channel so we can make more videos, please go to decastlercom support for several ways you can do that. And until we next meet, 73.